are now partnered with uh, five craft breweries around the country, uh, so Four Peaks is uh, our sixth partnership. When we started out even thinking about this, we, we were kind of looking at the craft brewing landscape. Um, we've done so well in Arizona, we, we know how to do one market, we do it probably better than anybody. Um, we got Wilson Street online, our production facility online, and we had all of this extra capacity and just kind of thinking to ourselves, like we, maybe it's time to get out of state. Four Peaks is only distributed currently in Arizona, so uh, the uh, owners, uh, one of their visions is to expand beyond Arizona, so that's something that will help them do. Without a good strategic partner going forward, there's a lot of pitfalls, a lot of things that can really make you trip up and fall down. So. We reached out to a, a brokerage group called First Beverage to kind of, you know, shop us around a little bit. And just coincidentally at that same time, um, Michael Taylor from AB called us. They reached out to us. So, absolute coincidence. What's really important is the culture and the local connection and authenticity that the owners have built up. That's a very important piece uh, of, of what makes craft really appealing to, uh, to different, uh, different people. What AB offered us was a chance for Kiltlifter and Four Peaks to be around for 20, 30, 50, 100 years, which was really, really appealing to us. Not to mention what, the, what else they bring to the table, like access to ingredients. Um, hops are really, really hard to come by now. Um, AB happens to own their own hop farm, which is a nice little perk. Um, they have their own their own malt house. Um, and not only that, just on the distribution side, their, their chain of um, distributors across the Southwest and across the country are very, very good. Um, and it's, uh, all of that was all very attractive to, to us. Brewers, everybody, janitors, everybody, we're all staying. No pay cuts, no nothing. It's going to be business as usual. It, it, it almost sounds too good to be true. Um, maybe that's what took eight months is to finally hammer them and hammer them. To, yes, they are actually telling us the truth. No one's leaving. They're not going to change recipes. They're not going to do any of that stuff. The thing that is going to change is probably our quality is going to get even better because we're going to have access to all of their labs and all of their technology. Things that we probably would take us 50 years to do, we can now do in four or five weeks.